What is going on, guys? Thank you all so much for tuning in, as always. And I want to apologize. I've been really slacking lately on the videos, but I can assure you that it's going to change here very shortly. Going to be having a lot more information for you guys, a lot of stuff going on, especially as we get closer to uh, finding and actually closing on our new duplex that we're working on buying. But for this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about kind of what different products I use in my vending business, uh, what kind of uh, products that maybe you should use or consider using. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do some shopping for uh, the business, seeing what we want to sell. Um, I'm sure you can have a pretty good idea on what all I put in all of my machines. Uh, most of it's pretty staple, but uh, I'm considering moving on to maybe try a few different things uh, as well as kind of uh, switch out some things going forward. So uh, let's go ahead and get into that. All right, so here I am. Uh, this is all of my product. I actually still need to do the shopping uh, today, but I'm going to go ahead and take you guys with me for that in just a little bit. Wanted to go ahead and get just a wee bit of recording done before I head out. Uh, but you can see here uh, that first off, the probably uh, main thing is going to be the gumballs here. Got a big old box of gumballs uh, and have a couple more that are uh, going to be here today. Uh, gumballs are the best to sell in my opinion um, and probably almost any other vendors. They have a super long shelf life uh, as well as an insanely high profit margin. Um, I get my gumballs from Sam's Club. I have so far just gotten regular old gumballs and uh, they cost about 2.7 cents a piece for me. Uh, so you do the math, sell them for a quarter. That is insane profit margins there. Uh, and I love those locations that go through a lot of gumballs. Um, and now something else I'm going to be trying is I actually just ordered a box of premium gumballs. I got a cotton candy flavor. So they should be here today. So I should be able to unbox it for you guys and let you know how they are. Um, I'm going to be putting those ones in the trampoline park because I just put the shooting hoops gumball machine in there and uh, that one just has regular gumball. So I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, the cotton candy flavored ones into the vending rack and hopefully eventually upgrade that vending rack to uh, maybe like a 10 head rack because uh, it's a trampoline park, tons of kids, definitely has the clientele to uh, put a ton of stuff. So maybe I'll get to the point that I have, a, you know, a few different types of gumballs and stuff in there. So we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. Right. Anyway, on to the next product is going to be uh, Mike and Ice. Let's talk about Mike and Ice. Mike and Ice are an okay product. Um, they kind of generally do better in the barbershop locations for myself. Um, you can see you got some... Mike and Ike's right here. Um, they're not my favorite candy, but they're not bad. Uh, they sell well enough for me to keep them in supply. So lower food cost, um, cost about seven cents per vend. So not too bad, maybe a little less than seven cents for per vend. Uh, but just so you guys know, something to watch out for is in the summer months, it gets really hot. And in those locations with, you know, kind of average AC or not so great AC, uh, just be careful because they will met, melt in the machines and jam it up. Uh, I actually had them melt on one of my locations uh, earlier uh, in the month. And unfortunately, uh, they decided to just keep on cranking that coin mac as hard as they can. So uh, they ended up breaking the coin mac and I had to replace it, unfortunately. So that's actually the second problem I've had at that location. So... One more problem, I'm probably just gonna pull the machine uh, because it, it does okay, but it doesn't do great. Now, next up we have Skittles here. Uh, Skittles, pretty popular one. They generally do it pretty well. Uh, just like the Mike and Ike's, about six, seven cents per vend. So definitely not too bad on those either. Um, also have a similar problem with Skittles potentially, uh, but not quite as much. I've never actually had an issue with the Skittles. Uh, but I do know that sometimes it can be uh, jammed up uh, because um, they are still that chewy candy that does melt in either sunlight or um, heat. So just something to watch out for when you're vending Skittles. All right, now the next candy I'm going to be talking about here is going to be these uh, chewy spray here. Um, these are actually, uh, I love this product. It's uh, pretty durable, but it's still one of those chewy candies, which is kind of cool. Uh, normally the chewy candies, like I said, with the Mike and Ike's and the Skittles can jam, but
but I haven't had a problem with it with the Chewy Sprays at all, and I haven't really heard too many issues from other vendors that vend Chewy Spray. So I guess it's because they have like that harder exterior, and then they're chewy when you actually start chewing them. So they are much more durable, they hold up much, much better in heat. So definitely like that product. And they also have that lower price point, just like the other Chewy Candies, about six, seven cents per vent. So definitely not too bad uh, as far as that goes. Now, next up, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the chocolate candies. And um, those are all the ones I'm thinking about moving to 50 cents and vending a little bit more. Uh, chocolate is a little more expensive. Um, generally, all of my chocolate products cost about 10 to 12 cents per vend, which is pretty high as far as food costs go. I know that 10 to 12 cents doesn't really sound like a lot, but once you consider the fact that you're only selling it for a quarter and some locations you have to pay commission, uh, that really just hurts your profit margin a lot. All right, so we'll start off with the least popular of all the chocolate candies, and that is going to be just regular M&Ms. They're pretty good. I like them. They sell pretty well overall. That's why, you know, I keep them in. Just like all of my other products, they all sell at least well enough, um, but they sell okay. Not so great. As you can see, I have quite a bit uh, stocked up here still, so... I'm uh, probably only going to pick up one extra container uh, on my shopping trip today. Anyway, Reese's Pieces, I have a few locations that absolutely love this product and I sell a ton of it at as my number one sales, uh, but overall they're not as popular, um, which is kind of surprising. Now, last up, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the peanut M&Ms. I did say that uh, I do get complaints about them sometimes saying they don't, uh, I don't vend enough. Um, for them, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think I should be vending more than five or six peanut M&Ms? Uh, considering that that puts my food cost around 10 to 12 cents uh, for vending five to six, which is like a half an ounce. So I don't know. Um, I know a lot of places want more being put out, but I just don't know if it's really practical. I don't know. Like I said, let me know in the uh, comments down below what your opinion is on it. Should I open up the vend a little bit more or should I uh, just keep it as is uh, for now? Anyway, as far as like candy and gum, that's pretty much all I sell. Um, probably in another video, I'll talk about like what kind of toys and whatnot I sell out of the vending rack at the trampoline park. Uh, gonna go ahead and uh, hit the shopping now, take you guys with me so you can kind of see what I'm looking at. Uh, this should be a cheaper shopping trip, actually. I already ordered Mike and Ike's and Gumballs from samsclub.com because they don't carry them in store. So they should be here later today and really excited to try out those new guys. So just kind of looking over here and seeing what I need to get. I think I usually like to keep like six of everything except for Gumballs. I usually keep about three boxes of Gumballs. So like I said, the Mike and Ike's are on the way. Um probably need to pick up uh, two bags of the Reese's Pieces, three containers of the Skittles because I have three here. Might might do like five of the peanut M&Ms, maybe four. I'll probably just stick with four and just one of the regular M&Ms. And then for the Chewy Spree, um, I'm actually going to have to order them. I'm going to order them next month uh, when I order more toys for the toy rack because I get them from the same website. Uh, which is a, a Global. That's where I get my uh, toys and uh, some more of my bulk candy from um, for a pretty good price. Uh, only downside is the shipping, um, but overall, definitely not too bad. And another thing about a a Global, they also have a lot of other different candies. So I was actually thinking about kind of pushing more towards grabbing some candies, kind of like, say, Runts or something like that. Uh, to put on more locations. I'm looking to expand and get more products that have a, a longer shelf life so that I can uh, space out my collection and reduce uh, spoilage on a lot of my products a little bit more. So I think that would be really good. But let me know what you guys think. What other products should I sell? Uh, should I sell runs or uh, some other kind of hard candy or chewy candy, let me know in the description, or not the description, the comment section down below on what other candies I should sell on my route.
All right, back home, guys. Time to go ahead and put this stuff away. Uh, package still didn't get here yet from uh, FedEx. Uh, Gumball still not here. Mike and I still not here. So just kind of uh, patiently waiting for that. Go, go ahead. Make sure you always rotate your inventory. First in, first out. As always, guys, definitely want to do that. That way you're not having expired or bad product ever. All right, there we go. Pretty much all stocked up, as you can see here. Uh, still waiting on the Mike and Ikes and the Gumball. Anyway guys, that's going to just about wrap up this video, and if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button, it really helps me out a lot, and if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well uh, to uh, get notifications on a future uploads. Anyway guys, I will catch you all in the next one.